drink. Is it 2006 yet? Who the hell are you? Who the hell are my pants? Oh shit, I gotta get to the show. Oh, oh god, I'm so gonna get jumped for this. This episode is brought to you by Magnificent Egos, the Dead Gentleman Store, and the Cheese Safety Advisory Council. Featuring Dead Gentleman's Books on Film, behind the scenes of the gamer's Dorkness Rising, and a tribute to junk. All of this and more as Dead Gentleman presents... Uh, excuse me for a moment. Good evening. This is Dead Gentleman's Books on Film. Hillbilly! Get her done! <laughs> oh, hey there. This is a uh, Archie Hawthorne for the Dead Confederate's Books in the Fire. Now tonight, we're gonna be burning Cervantes' Don Quick's Odie. Now, this is a book about this dumb speck who fights windmills. Now, I, I ain't read all of it myself, I got to admit, but there's some, uh, there's some commie propaganda in here, and, and, uh, it's all about faggotry. Yep, everybody in here, it's all about being buggering each other and stuff, and so, so tonight I thought, in the name of decent people and God, uh, we, we should burn it. So here we are, burning Don Quixote. That's right. Here we go. There we go. Catch it. And remember, it's important to play, but it's more important to play it safe. Dead Gentleman Productions is a group of independent filmmakers based in the Tacoma area of Washington State. Uh, we formed up in college uh, as a coffeehouse group of uh, single, pathetic guys who met to lament being single and pathetic guys. A lot has changed since then. Most of us are married now, uh, but we're still pretty pathetic. Uh, I got involved with Dead Gentlemen back in 
2000, after seeing Demon Hunters 2, they made me laugh so much that they haven't been able to get rid of me since. That gentleman is all about a group of friends who just wanted to get together and share their common love for movies and making movies. And Dead Gentleman Productions is really there to kick you in the groin with humor and have you come away with that laughing so hard that it sticks with you and you keep thinking about it. Gaming to Dead Gentlemen is at our roots. I mean, that's how we, most of us met. And moving on into cinema just seemed like more, a more natural step. You know, sharing that, hey, this is so much fun. Together, we're entertaining ourselves so much. Why don't we see if we can transport how much fun we're having here onto the screen? I'm not going to add wood tonight. I want the shots tonight. I'll add wood combat, but. <sighs> I can't believe you're using Ed Wood as a verb. We stepped up to production value and we it, it's going to be bigger and more beautiful and more funny there's a, you know a lot more interesting you know sets and uh, costuming and props and stuff a lot a lot more detailed stuff uh, going into this movie in a way low budget can be a blessing because it, it forces creativity and we came up with things we wouldn't have otherwise you know all the props of course had to be made at home and almost like setting up for Halloween. It's just what can you throw together with materials you have. It's actually, this is incredible in the sense that incredible. no one is credible enough to say, I will build my garage into an inn in two days and it will look fantastic. It was incredible. <laughs> and it's a garage. It's a, it's a freaking garage. Sorry about your girlfriend. Katie! Oh. Oh. <coughs> God, I loved her. Here. Put this on. There. Now, go against Silent Jim. But with the visor down, I can't even see. How am I supposed to fight? A demon hunter must be able to sense his foes around him. Reach out with your feelings. Take it up a notch. What? How's that spell coming? I need more time. The shadow steps towards you to engage you in combat. Called shot to the nuts. What? Uh, combat rules uh, state that the crotch is a vital area. If you hit an opponent in a vital area, he's stunned for one round. Called shot to the nuts. Okay. You will pay for your insolence. Oh, that hurt. The funniest moment for me may have been when I jumped Christian with a butterball turkey. Oh god, that's just gonna live on the outtakes for the rest of my life. Your grace! Oh, oh no! <laughs> I saw it coming, I had to take it, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dumb!